Hey Ross World, my money makes money. Buy now or debt later. <laughs> Buy now or debt later. So you have all these companies and they tell you, buy now or pay later. So let me give you some story about marshmallows, okay? I just, off the top of my tippity tip top tip brain, okay? So you're a young school kid, you're in kindergarten, you love marshmallows, okay? You love marshmallows. The whole class are in love with marshmallows. And I'm the teacher and I say, hey, I have some gifts for you guys. I got marshmallows for you guys, but I don't have enough to give everybody three. I have enough to give everybody one. And they did a study that's similar to this with actual kindergartens, and then that study followed them, okay? They use candy or they use something um, in those regards, marbles, whatever, right? So a third of the class wanted their marshmallows right now, okay? Another third of the class say, hey, well, how long do I have to wait? And they did wait, but then they broke down and they still took the one marshmallow. Now, if they would have waited, all of them would have got three marshmallows, okay? Another third of the group, the last third, they're the ones who waited and then they got three marshmallows. So the study followed them throughout time all the way until they finished college and majority of that 33%, okay, that 33% was more successful than the other two groups. Buy now, pay later. You get it? Buy now, pay later. They wanted their um, candy right then and there. They couldn't wait. Their impulse buying, window shopping. They wanted to get it right now. They didn't wait. Now, let me give you something that you probably can connect to to understand what I'm talking about. Who shops on Amazon? I do. I love Amazon. I'm an Amazonian. Hey, ma, bila, whatever, right? So the point I'm making is this. You have two days shipping. When, when you are a Prime member, listen, when you are a Prime member, they give you about three shipping dates. Do you want it in the regular two days or do you want it that maybe, say for instance, it's it's Monday when you order and they say, hey, do you want it on Wednesday? You're like, uh, yeah, I want it as soon as possible, right, right now. Do you want it on Thursday? Then you're like, um, no, I'm getting on, what's a day difference? Then they say, okay, do you want it on Friday? Usually it's like a week later, but then they offer you maybe a dollar in the pantry, a dollar in the digital, a dollar in the bookstore. If I don't really need the item right now, guess what I do, guys? I take the far out shipping and then I accumulate those dollars. They're gonna already pay me to wait a couple of days longer, what? I'm saving money, guys. I'm saving money. So if I let that accumulate, I use that for my own benefit. And if I do it often, depending on how many things you buy off Amazon, you can then buy something with that pantry points or pantry dollars or digital dollars, so on and so forth. Now, in contrast to what I was talking about prior to that, about the marshmallows, about buy now, pay later, how many of you have took that offer with an astronomical interest rate because they say, hey man, you can take this out to the store right now and you can just wait however long. Now, people with great credit, they do it all the time because they say, oh well, I'm just gonna start paying on this even though, they, even though they told me I can wait six months, but it at 0%. But some of us, you go to these payday loan places, you go to these other places say, hey, you buy right now, we don't need to do a credit check or whatever. They use all these schemes. They use all these tactics to get money out of your pocket. But nevertheless, it is a trick, it is a marketing scheme, it is a advertising scheme to extract money out of your pocket. And you need to learn how to stop. That's it. That's it. Some people are addicted to shopping, right? Take people who stay up late at night. All right, QVC, uh, HSN, and all these different networks that cater to people who stay up late or on the weekends, whatever may have you, that actually have an addiction. And they just say you're a bunch of junk, and most of those people are hoarders. Now, we're not gonna get into the psychological babble of it all, but buy now, pay later is a horrible thing. How about this? Buy now, have the, have the paper now. Buy now, have the moolah now. Buy now, have the money now. Don't buy now, and pay later because the translation I get is 
buy now, that later. Because some of you are gonna get into a routine, okay? You're gonna get into a schedule where you keep buying now and you keep paying later, then you don't even have the money later. So that's debt, that goes into collection. And it comes a whole slew of other problems in your finances. So think about the story I gave you about Amazon and the money. And I'm pretty sure there may be some other companies that actually are doing it right now, okay? A sperm whale is the smaller of all whales at eight feet something inches. And a blue whale is the big, biggest whale of them all at 98 feet. Which whale are you going to be? Are you going to be the blue whale that's fat and happy? Or are you going to be the sperm whale that's only eight feet? and great white shock food for the crack debtors and collection agencies. Why did I bring that up? I don't know, it just came to mind. This is Ross World, my money makes money. I'm out.